Uh, yeah. well, either way, Hayes is over here with the Rob and Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is their main, but the Rob is for Steve. Wolfric uh, has main Lucina, has a Krom, but main Lucina. Okay. Well, uh -oh. we'll definitely see how this plays out because uh, Diddy Kong kind of eats up sorties sometimes. So yeah, uh, Wolfric's definitely going to have his hands full here. Definitely just about <laughs> to bring that up uh, right there, Skiff, as we're seeing just can what can make this matchup so hard for for many sorties diddy kong has no trouble getting in your space but also you gotta watch out for some of these reversals no tech and wouldn't even matter underneath the stage of ps2 that's a hard place to uh, get back from as Wil wolfric has somehow gotten himself an early lead yeah that kind of sucks but it was really funny so <laughs> True. either way though we're gonna see Hayes even things up here as they show off some movement that they're never actually going to use in game uh you know it's always <laughs> nice to show out show off your your movement between stocks like wave landing on platforms so yeah it's it's a flex yeah good, of course yeah good on Wolfric to try and take a more defensive stance has to be a oh I kind of like that the up he had a shield, not so much. <laughs> Don't know what that was. <laughs> Huge punish, that's what that was. <laughs> yeah, that nice like 8% punish. Oh, hello. Yeah, that was a little bit scary actually. If uh, Wolfric just moved up, I am just a couple pixels. Probably would be able to clip. But okay, I like that though. You know, throw out the banana, trip him up, and then like, just kind of backwards jumped at him. I, they, they were definitely looking to cook something up there. Just, I don't know, the, the stove turned off somehow. Yeah, I like the idea of Wolfric taking a lot more space, saving the jump there as well, ensuring some of their recovery routes. The best thing you can do as a sortie in a matchup against a character as mobile as Diddy Kong is to try and stay and try and give yourself as much space as possible. Respect his burst range because once you start jumping with this floaty sword, then Diddy can get right under you, get Lando's down tilts and down tilt into everything, especially with that up smash. I mean, yeah, you also got these huge sweeping hitboxes too. You know, use those to your advantage. Definitely don't be throwing them out nonstop, but you know, when you think they're gonna be approaching, you know, throw it out. Maybe you get a hit out of it. Ooh, what a parry. That was such a solid play from Wolfric in order to try and disencourage these approaching shields. Uh, you should still be fine here. Yeah, the he might have been fine without going to center stage uh, to get that platform uh, or the pillar, but honestly, not a bad spot. It definitely ensured that he was going to be made, uh, wow, be able to make it back. Oh, that downer just barely landing. The up to, uh, the upper is just missing as well. Wolfric just kind of off the mark with some of these aerials. I'm really waiting for him to like start throwing out some of these up tilts if they have an advantage to. That fair is a good way to, uh, to force them out, but the detonation on the platform and you know, even with a two stock, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Even if that was a stock trade, unfortunately, Wolfric... no, it wasn't. That was not a stock trade. That was a okay. two stock. Okay, she, you know, okay, you got me. Did, you got me. Yeah, did, did you see? Did you see the stock disappear at the end here? Watch no, this. It was about to. <laughs> no, no, watch. When it says game, right? Look at it. the stock doesn't disappear. It was a two stock game. All right. I'm, you are technically correct. I is. am correct, not technically. <laughs> I am I am technically correct. I am figuratively correct. I am correct in every single way except in your eyes for some reason, Uval. <laughs> you know, one, I'm just, uh, this isn't a hill worth dying on. This is fine. <laughs> You're damn right it's not, because it's me on the other side. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into this game. For things that really matter, game twos. <laughs> Yeah. Game number two of however many. Uh, the switch over to the Rob, though. I wonder if this is like preparation, trying to keep Wolfric off guard, or just trying to practice your combos, because that was almost a crazy Z drop combo coming out early from Hayes. And we've seen, uh, as we saw before in the game with Marcus, he got those. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we saw any of the, uh, the double toss, like side Bs, but he was definitely really close to that one, just end up throwing out an air dodge and accent. But we do know that he would have went for the arm rotor because he definitely loves the arm rotor. Yeah, he would have done it anyway. Full send Yeah, he no would have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost a, a falling. Oh, just a little bit misspaced on the part of Wolfric and getting massively whip punished for it. I will say that Wolfric's recoveries have been pretty good overall. Getting to ledge, saving your jump, and playing just how you need to as we've seen it in this meta, which is super careful. But... Gonna get grabbed, gonna get the down throw up smash, and Hayes finds this early lead and starts going with the Z-Drop Gyro. Oh, there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
They didn't actually land any of the Z-drops or, or anything like that, but it's not a huge deal, man. You definitely still had the threat 100%, so. It was some solid damage to get started on the second sock, too. 43? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, uh, you See, do? that's a stock trade. Okay, okay. Ooh, well, did you see how they both <laughs> lost the stock? See, like, you're... You're trying to like gaslight me into like giving you your way. Also, ouch. <laughs> One more. I'm just saying. You, you said it was a stock trade earlier. <laughs> That's and a stock my trade. Goodness. There you that, go. There's, there's a stock <laughs> trade. <laughs> wow. It's not giving me my way, Ubel. I am correct. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not engaging in this argument. I'm not giving it to you. I'm not pleasing you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, though, uh, definitely a couple really awkward scenarios at the end for both of those stocks. Wolfric yeah, just, ouch. I don't know, getting caught up in these weird spots. Yeah, just kind of getting oh, out resourced. Like once it's once it was seen that Wolfric was saving the jump for uh, ledge mix-ups and or to mix in like high uh, high dolphin slashes. What? Wait a minute. What's this? All right, uh, both of them to try and something, I guess. So, uh, I mean, we see that Hayes has got a, a nice little lead, a nice 2-0 for him. So he's just trying to mess around here. And Wolfric said, all right, this Lucina definitely not working. So I'm going to go play a better sortie. Yeah, better Lucina. In basically every way, because Mithra is has, brings a lot to the table of what Lucina does, like some big sweeping hitboxes. But just being a fast faller instead, especially given uh, the advent of foresight and having things, uh, having things like an approaching dash attack, make her so much stronger in so many ways than Lucina can. Uh, I don't know if Pyra's a better Lucina. Mithra is, is just a better sortie. Lucina just controls the pace in a much better way. I mean, just look at Frodo Van Dam, what he's been able to do. Okay, that's um, fair. I, I think that's that's a huge factor right there. I feel like they, they offer similar ideas, but go about it in different ways uh, to me. Like, Mithra can speed up the pace while uh, Lucina can calm it down, while Pyra can reap the reward of that pace that you set with Mithra and turn big opportunities into stocks but speaking of big, that up smash is equally as sizable and turns keeps this game even. I'd say it's a lot bigger, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that up smash is messed up. Covers whole platforms. I think it covers the whole platform almost on Smashville. Oh, like, yeah, it, it almost goes from one side to the other. It clearly uh, It's just ridiculous in every way. But the other side of this, too, is that Hayes has got to be careful due to the fact that with Sephiroth being such a big and light character, he can get caught up in a lot of this mess here. Uh, so big, big combos from Mithra and then closing out stocks super early with Pyro. Yeah, this, the tall and the light Sephiroth doesn't help at all. Oh, the, getting the up smash out of shield, but I wonder if that was a bait on the part of Hayes to get the, uh, the Shadow Flare to detonate and have Wolfer take all of that damage. Either way, Wing Sephiroth completely transforms every matchup that he's a part of. The character is almost completely different once you have access to this big, big resource. But you always got to watch out for the fact that you are tall. Got to wait a man again. <laughs> Just drop from Halo up smash. <laughs> That's how both of those stocks have disappeared. Uh, we've seen Wolfric take a stock and then Hayes answer back with an up smash to just close it out. So uh, that's definitely not the pattern you want to stick with, though, because that means you're losing the stock first every time and you're on your last stocks for both players here. So let's see if you can find a way to turn this around and try to keep this lead, because right now not looking too bad. Ooh, a lot of extra damage out of that. That was actually really nice. Yeah, getting the timing on the Shadow Flare as well. Able to establish Sephiroth with a lead. And once you're able to get a lead with Sephiroth, suddenly things can transform in your direction so far as the D.I.N. on the back throw makes that a 100% true combo. And ouch. Ouch is a way to say it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, just uh, nice stuff from Hayes there, being able to close that out. Lemon Tea coming over and... I don't know, showing his condolences. <laughs> I'm not sure. Fist bump at both players. I'm sure they're all buddies and stuff like that. But yeah. either way, not a bad attempt here. Uh, I think switching from a character like Lucina to Pyra Mithra is a bit of a change, especially just Mithra alone because of how much faster the character is. Like you mentioned, a fast faller as well. It, it definitely changes up the pace of your game a lot. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, we're still going to see Hayes going on 3-0, but we're going to be moving on to winner's finals here. It's going to be Lemon T taking on Marcus.
yeah, this is presumably going to be Wolf Steve. Uh, a fair representation of Fighters Pass 2 here today, as uh, as per usual. And we will get to we'll get the chance to kind of see how players are prepared for uh, for Steve and for Marcus's Steve especially. Marcus has it's, been. Uh, it's Jackal versus.